And yeah, I was then about it was to say, I had, had sex Venusian. with a Venusian. Yeah, and I had a child with a Venusian. <laughs> and then there's another book I think I showed in the and we are not alone. There's a book that was like my journey to the moon, the Mars and Venus. Like it was mm. just again like, well, I did I did this. Well, if you did that, I did this and this. <laughs> I met the people oh, from Saturn right. and from Mars. Good, God, we were on a roll. It was dead smooth. Yeah. So I mean, you have all this going on. Um, and then, you know, they're describing most of the, uh, the reason that these people are visiting the space people. And generally speaking, that was all kind of based off of um, the atomic age. So it was mostly aliens coming to warn us that the atomic age was very dangerous and we might blow up our planet and they want to kind of save us from ourselves. So messaging wise, you know, it's a good message, whether it's from aliens or not, something we should be taking, you yeah, know, don't blow of. yourself up. Careful, right. <laughs> so, um, so, so that I thought was a good message. On the other hand, it starts to really kind of create that, that stigma of uh, UFOs being a bit for, for more like kooks versus sci serious scientific study. So that kind of puts science, you know, derails science a little bit in the subject. But then in the 60s, just to kind of get back to your question, by the 60s, um, you have the abduction cases starting. So 1961 saw the first sort of um, documented nationally um, case with Betty and Barney Hill. Although I talked about a case that happened months before in June of 61, um, but that wasn't documented at that time. That that came out later. Um, so then you have abductions starting. People are now saying, oh, I was abducted by aliens. I was taken aboard their ship. In some cases, their probe, Betty and Barney, were both, were both probed um, before they were released and then had these memories kind of come back uh, through hypnotic regression. So I talk about that case, a few others, and then the hybrids kind of start coming in. I'd say more like in the 80s, you start getting all these stories about hybrid children and babies. Mm -hmm. 